this is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. It is Sunday, April the 3rd, 2022. Welcome to my channel. I would just like to thank all of my new subscribers. I do appreciate you watching and I appreciate you subscribing. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not done so already, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Libra? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Libra out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Libra. Spirit. Bottom of the deck, four of pentacles, holding on to your heart, being miserly. Looks like you got hurt. First card out. The ace of swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. Aces are new. This is new, honest, clear communication coming in. Someone wants to talk to you. What is crossing this? The hermit. Virgo energy, the hermit, there's that star in a jar that you all have, and this beautiful casket, which I absolutely love, and he's all straggly, the long beard and long hair, looks like he's been there for a while. This is talking about healing, taking some time to yourself to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. Healing. Consciously known. The Seven of Cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We've got a heart-shaped shelf, and there are seven cups. They all have heart-shaped eyes and nose. This is talking about having options in love. Looks like you're playing the field, Libra. Talking to a few people. Have a few people interested in you. You have options. Unconscious. The Wheel of Fortune, the wheel spinning in an upward direction for you. This is talking about success. We have a, a white reaper with black hair and a black reaper with white hair. I just noticed that. Um, there's the wheel. There's an hourglass. This is talking about success. The wheel is spinning in an upward direction for you. Recent past. The lovers, Gemini energy, soulmates, divine counterparts. I like this lovers card because there's only two people in this card. They have a heart shaped, um, silver lock box, commitment box in the middle, and the tooth toothbrush or key with wings. Soulmates, divine counterparts, the lovers. Near future, the nine of swords. Someone's got you all worried. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Looks like the, it's... The head is in like a sphere. Um, there's a book here. This is talking about sleepless nights. Having dreams. Worrying about what you could have, should have, would have done differently. All up in your head. I don't, very, I don't like that energy. Where do you find yourself? The temperance. Sagittarius energy. The temperance. It talks about divine timing. Having patience. Trusting that source, spirit, and universe will give you what you need at its proper time. She's pouring liquid from one cup into another cup. She's got a red flower in her long black hair. And this gorgeous dress. Which shouldn't work, but really does. Divine timing. External influences. Queen of Cups, Queen of Love. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is the Queen of Love. Cups are water energy. Water is blue. She's got a blue sombrero, a blue dress, blue flowers. She's got heart-shaped eyes and nose. And this gorgeous heart-shaped red and silver brooch. This person is loving caring, compassionate, a nurturer, 
a good parent, a good partner, Queen of Cups, Queen of Love, hopes and or fears, Santa Morta, the death card, Saint Death, um, she is like wearing a cape, she's um, got a red dress, a scythe, this is Scorpio energy, death and rebirth. This is the end of a very painful cycle. As you can see, she's pregnant. There's the um, crib. There's her scythe, which is talking about rebirth. End of a painful cycle. Beginning of a new cycle. And overall outcome. The Queen of Swords, in my opinion. that's This is your card, our card, Libra. The Queen of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are yellow in this deck. She's got red flowers, a red, ugh, yellow flowers. What am I talking about? Swords are yellow in this deck. She's got yellow flowers, a yellow skirt, and these beautiful um, flower earrings. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. You need to give the Queen of Swords honest, clear communication, or she will use that sword and cut you right out of her life. She makes head over heart decisions. However, if you are honest and clear with the Queen of Swords, she will be very loving and very loyal. Cross her, she's cutting you off. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person, it looks like there's flowers in the long white hair. This is talking about being miserly, Holding on to your heart. Um, looks like you have been hurt by someone and so you are afraid to trust again. The Knight of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. The Knight of Swords, sure, he's all about honest, clear communication. If you do not bring the King of Knight of Swords, sorry, on its clear communication, he will use that sword and cut you right out of his life. But knights are more immature than kings or queens. And the knight of swords can come off as blunt, brash, abrasive, and rush in and out of your life. Not a consistent energy. There was drama here. Five of pentacles. Pentacles are Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody was um, playing the pity card, making a pity play. Oh, poor me, poor me. Uh, everybody picks on me. Um, you're the only one that understands, blah, blah, blah. Drama, drama, pity play. Ooh, new. A new passionate beginning. Ace of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aces are new. Wands are all about fire, passion. Um, we've got a red skull with red flowers and like plants. Looks like plants coming out of it. This is a passionate new beginning. This could be a new passionate idea. Hobby, making money. Um... This can also talk about lust and somebody's wand, male or female. A passionate new beginning. And the Empress, this is your energy, Libra. This is independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine, maternal goddess energy. She is sitting in her throne, sitting in her power. It's a gorgeous throne, too. She knows her worth. She does not get out of her throne for anybody or anything. Always new I birthing new ideas. If you're pregnant, congratulations. Um, if you don't want to take, get pregnant, take the proper precautions. Also, new ideas, uh, new hobbies, new ways to make money. Uh, she's got this fan and this scepter. Independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine, maternal, goddess energy. We had new, honest, clear communication, healing, options in love, 
success, the lovers, divine timing, the queen of love, end of a painful cycle, beginning of a new cycle, the queen of communication, cutting out people that no longer serve, passionate new beginning, and the empress, your energy, independent, self-sufficient, divine, feminine, maternal, goddess energy. Being all up in your head, worried about things, holding on to your heart, this inconsistent, immature, knight of swords energy, person in and out of your life, and somebody is being dramatic, pity play, pity play, pity play. Oracle cards. Observer. Observer. Somebody's watching you. Oh, it's like a box here. Uh, he's got a telescope and uh, looking at the moon. Observer. Co create. Working on a solid foundation with someone. We got um, some kind of cat. An owl looks like a egg working on a solid foundation with someone bottom of the deck breathe she looks like an angel and she's got like a face on her this is talking about taking some time to yourself rest relax recuperate rejuvenate breathe taking a minute love cards you deserve love. You are lovable. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Feeling a little bit stuffed up. Oracle or uh, major major arcana. The Justice. This is also your card, Libra. I like it when your card shows up in your readings. The Justice. I feel like this is uh, kind of like the Queen of Swords. Um, you. This is your card, Libra. You may be involved in some kind of court case, child support, divorce, uh, possibly a baby mama, baby daddy situation with the Empress, but I'm not sure. Um, also, with the observer, I don't know if this person is upset. I don't know if they're watching you. I'm not sure. Um, also, we have a scythe here. We've got a flower. Uh, this could mean, like the Queen of Swords, cutting someone out that no longer serves. And the bottom of the deck, the Emperor. Ooh, we got divine counterparts here too. This, the Emperor's Aries energy, sitting in his throne, sitting in his power, knows his worth, Div independent, self-sufficient, divine masculine, paternal energy. The Emperor. He can be stubborn with a my way the highway type attitude, but the Emperor doesn't take shit from anybody. And um, since they're divine counterparts, some people are a little bit harder on the Emperor but not me. I enjoy the Emperor because he doesn't put up with crap. Like the Empress does not put up with crap. So we had being all up in your head, sleepless nights, holding on to your heart, this inconsistent night, don't trust him. And drama, pity play, leave that in, leave that behind. Well, you are the Empress after all. New honest, clear communication. Healing, options in love, success, the lovers, soulmates, divine timing, death and rebirth, end of a painful cycle, beginning of a new cycle, queen of swords, cutting out someone who no longer serves you, a new passionate beginning, and independent, self-sufficient, divine feminine, maternal, goddess energy. It takes me a while to get through all those. <laughs> The Empress is our energy after all. Observer. 
Um, just kind of keep your eye eye open, eyes open uh, for this observer energy. Co-create, working on a solid foundation with someone. Breathe, take some time to yourself. And love cards. You deserve love, romantic feelings, make the effort, the justice, your energy could be a court case, cutting someone out, and the emperor, divine mass, independent, self-sufficient, divine masculine, paternal energy, soulmates with the empress. All right, so new honest, clear communication, passionate new beginning, your card, queen of swords, your card, empress, your card, justice, the hermit, um, healing, success, a divine timing, you go, Libra, you are awesome. All right. Have a great rest of your day. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Bye for now.